Hello everybody and welcome back to Victoria 3 where we are currently fighting for Lithuania here. We chose our time carefully to break up Lithuania and the French Commune and currently we don't expect any future issues in this war. We don't expect any additional war to break out, any additional fronts to exist. So that's fine, we are demobilizing an army here. So we're still a little bit negative financially but we'll get over that. Engines and coal are currently expensive. We have some market access issues. Most of this is due to convoys. So that's all absolutely fine for right now. Now we do have condemnations of the children. We could get some intelligentsia political strength or some intelligentsia political strength, which, uh, okay. Well, either way, that's going to be potentially a problem for us. We're going to tick on forward here, of course. We have a possible action for ruler of the East. We can present the Beijing Treaty. They've been sufficiently destabilized by opium wars and rebellions. They don't have a truce with us. They're not the subject of another nation, and they're not our subject. We're not at war with China, and they're at war with another country. So this will result in a diplomatic incident in North China, giving nine infamy to us and reducing relations with nine countries. We demand the transfer of Outer Manchuria to Russian rule, and this will trigger the event, the Beijing Treaty. So this is only available when China is at war with another country. Who is China at war with? They are involved in this French war. Okay. Noted. That's very interesting. We can certainly present the Beijing Treaty. We'll demand the transfer of Outer Manchuria to Russian rule. The question is, would they accept this? They have a lot of power on paper, but it's basically all fake power. I think we should try it and see what happens. So with our present leverage over the Chinese government, we've proposed a treaty to draw a former bo formal border in Manchuria, formally transferring for Mali transferring Outer Manchuria to Russia. So we would become the owner of Outer Manchuria just directly. And we could either get 50% migration att attraction for nine years or 10% state construction efficiency, 25% migration attraction and 25% port building throughput. We'll expand our ports. So we just got Outer Manchuria for free. We also got the eighth Russian army out of this. And I think we'll just disband this, to be honest. I don't think we need it. So we'll get rid of that for now. That seems reasonably fine. Outer Manchuria is now under our control. So we still need to own all of Ili, Tomsk, and Kyrgyzia. Okay. So that's all stuff that's like out over here, right? So that's this state, this state, and this state. We would have to take those over, and we'll have to fight China for that. But we do manage to present this treaty. China is actually still genial towards us, which is mildly surprising. But we will certainly take Outer Manchuria off of their hands. So we're going to have to do something with Outer Manchuria, of course. We are going to need to reset production methods there. So we'll do that quick. And then do we need to incorporate this? We do. Okay, so we'll get started on that. That sounds good. We'll continue to take forward here now that we've taken advantage of that. I expected this to be actually a diplomatic play, but it did create a diplomatic incident putting us into notoriety. 50.4. So that is noted, but for now, it's fine. We'll take down below 50 very, very soon. Just a couple of weeks here. So that'll be fine, and we're not planning on starting up any big wars for the moment. Although I wouldn't mind a war with China, we're definitely going to need to wait for our infamy to drop. There's no doubt about that. A lot of our convoys are being sunk, which is not surprising in the least. And we're just going to wait for the French Commune to be interested in dropping here. Why are they taking casualties? Dying in battle. To what? The Swedish fleet? Maybe. I mean, that's not a bad thing that they're taking casualties and we're not. So that seems reasonably okay. And of course, if a front does break out, we can always remobilize an army. 
and we can choose which army we want to remobilize, or multiple armies, in theory. Now, our biggest problem right now with this war continuing is our convoys, right? That is absolutely an issue, but I don't expect this to be too much of a thing. At least one of these. We've enacted censorship or outlawed dissent, and they're all suppressed for more than five years. So that's what this is doing here. They're... They would need to be marginalized? Yeah, I think the intelligentsia are currently marginalized, correct? No, they're suppressed. Okay, that's fine. They can stay suppressed for the moment. So that's okay, that's just going to continue to tick on through. The Red Scare is going to time out in seven years, and will fail if we enact the Council Republic or there's a civil war. Noted. So we'll just try to avoid a civil war. No problem there. Of course, we need to exit this war as soon as we can, and France is eligible to drop below zero war support. So at this point, it's just a matter of time until this war is over. They're only at 39 capitulation desire? Wow, okay. So they're going to exit this war quite soon. The French Commune, how is this war actually going for them? So, currently, the war support for the Peasant Revolt is at 19. The war support for the French Commune is at 0. The French Commune cannot drop below 0 currently. I'm actually surprised that the Peasant Revolt is winning this. Considering who all is on the side of the French Commune. I mean, Senegal doesn't really matter, but Austria, Italy, China, all on the side of the French Commune? And the French Commune is losing. For now. Remarkable. I do expect them to ultimately win that, unless they manage to l lose these defenses. Uh, I can't select the one under here, apparently. Okay, sure. We'll take a look at this one. This looks bad here, honestly. I'm not sure where the French capital is at this point. It's, uh... Is it here? I guess it is. Okay, so winning this defense over here is incredibly important. Well, it doesn't really matter to us because they are going to capitulate here very, very soon. Their war support is going to drop below zero shortly. They're down to five. And they're just going to want to get out of this war. They want nothing to do with this anymore. We've got full occupation of our war goal, and that's fine. We're not going after anything else here. German leadership in South Germany, huh? So Prussia... Can, can these stop popping in so I can take a look at this? There we go. They started a German leadership diplomatic play against Austria. So that is noted. Absolutely. I don't think we're going to get involved in that, but that means that Austria is a little bit more busy up over here. Okay, so the intelligentsia are continuing to be slightly problematic. This is a matter for university authorities. There we go. So now we can see that the French would actually accept this. So let's just propose this peace deal as is. There we go. So Lithuania is under our control. We're going to need to begin improving relations there. And so we shall. So checking in on our other locations, Persia is... Yeah, that's all fine. So at this point, Great Britain sided with Prussia in this diplomatic play. We don't really care about this diplomatic play. I'm not too concerned about it right now. We do need to let our infamy drop, so we're not going to be going to war for a little bit. We do have a decent amount of income, and our convoys are going to start being replenished at this point. So that's good. We do have some transportation shortages and market access issues. The market access will recover as our convoys do. So that'll be fine for the moment. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on over here. We don't really care all that much, although hang on. Okay, this is a diplomatic play in Indonesia and South Germany. Okay, yeah, we don't really care too much about that. So I want to take a look at Outer Manchuria out over here. And taking a look at that, we can build gold mines in Outer Manchuria. And we probably should do that as a top priority. So we'll get those built. And the question then becomes, how's Outer Manchuria doing on its transportation? Well, there is a railway under construction here. Is this a private construction? It's not being worked on right now. 
Or is it out here? It must be a private construction. Railway in Outer Manchuria. Yes. Okay. We'll just leave that be for the moment then. And we'll get the other mines constructed here. The gold mines. As well as, of course, our motor industries and our coal mines. Those are all very important to continue to work on. We have our steel mills completed at this point, I believe. And we can see that coal is still expensive. That's all absolutely fine for the moment. We're making good progress on the, all of that. We could think about boosting up our construction sector. And actually, judging by our investment pool, we should. By one. Only by one. Because that should put our investment pool back to negative. So we'll get that construction sector built, and that'll go nice and quickly. We do, of course, need to get our convoys replenished. But that's just going to passively happen over time, now that they're no longer being sunk. Protecting our trade in those big wars is probably something that we should do, but, you know, it's reasonably fine. We're seeing our market access improve in these locations. It's all good. I'm not too concerned about it for now. So, what are our plans going forward? Well, I'd like to get Poland and Ukraine under our control, for sure. Sikh Empire under our control would be ideal. And then I'd like to wage the war against China for ruler of the East. I think we can do that in one single war. So that wouldn't be too bad, all things considered. Gold has been depleted in Alaska, and the French commune are now embargoing us. Ah, they did finish their war successfully, and that's not shocking. I did expect that to happen because while they were kind of losing the war, they didn't have full occupation, and so the uh, the peasants were approximately ab about to go negative in their war support. And that wouldn't be good for them, obviously. Alaska losing gold fields is, of course, sad, but we still have the gold mines, so it's all good for the moment. And actually, we can build additional gold mines in Alaska, and we're going to do exactly that. Fantastic. Okay, so we see a couple of transportation shortages, specifically in Urtusk, and what's going on here? This just needs to be expanded. Okay, so we'll do that right now, and we also see one in Outer Manchuria. This is not surprising, considering that this railway hasn't been built yet. We should maybe consider queuing up a second one, though, and getting that going, although I would like to definitely be working on all of the gold mines. And we'll do something kind of like... Actually, the Outer Manchuria one will be after. Like this. Yes. This is a little bit better. Okay. So we'll do something along the lines of that. Perfect. So we're doing okay on our finances, right? We're seeing our economy steadily growing here. That's looking solid. Our market access in these areas is improving. We're going to be going positive in our convoys eventually. But we're not there yet but that number is kicking up reasonably quickly. No major problems there. So I'm not too concerned about the nihilist movement for right now. I'm a little concerned about our radicalism. Our standard of living has dramatically improved. That's good. We're number four in the world in terms of prestige. And keep in mind, we're currently sacking our prestige. So that seems pretty good. What about in terms of GDP? Okay, in terms of GDP, we're pretty far behind Britain in particular, but that's not necessarily surprising. Okay, all is looking pretty decent here. We do have all of these steel mills down here that I would like to intersperse government administrations with, and we can do something like this. There we go. Got that done. So we'll be working on those for a while, no doubt about that. Unholy activities, huh? The Orthodox Church would be happier if we charged them with blasphemy. Middle strata pops becoming more radical is probably not the biggest of problems at this moment. We'll see. How's our legitimacy? 86? Can we get that any higher? No. Okay. So that's fine. We may end up going for landed voting. Two point five three in million individuals more loyal is a pretty good number of individuals. That would change our balance pretty dramatically here. That said, the numbers are pretty steady as of right now. So that's definitely noted. 
chaos on the courtyard, huh? Well, we can't deny it was a good show. I do like the production research speed. We're going to disregard the heresy. The Orthodox Church will be unhappy about that. But there's not a lot to be done about it right now. Oil has been discovered in Samara. That will be a useful thing. But for now, we're not too concerned about it. So these railways are going to be finishing up. Checking in, in on our local input goods shortages. Yep, it's just those two areas. So that looks good. We are going to have the railway in Outer Manchuria completed soon. So that looks good. The second railway is 19 weeks out. But overall, our finances are looking excellent right now. I'm very pleased with this. I'm not going to continue to... Well, actually, we should. Our investment pool is currently positive. Let's build two construction sectors to bring this investment pool back negative. And we're on taxes and torches right now. Hmm. So, the nihilists are causing problems. Absolutely, they are. Government administration building throughput. Is this only in Samara? Yes. Only in Samara. Okay. So we'll end up losing some bureaucracy here, but that's reasonably okay. We do go negative in our bureaucracy, which is less okay. That said, we do have this government administration here. But it's probably reasonably fine. 1.4% tax waste, I'm not too concerned about. I think we'll continue to work through our coal mines and motor industries. So that'll be reasonably fine. There's our two construction sectors finished up. And let's see what that ends up doing to our investment pool here. I am expecting that to take a negative or close to it. Yeah, there we go. That's what we want to see. Beautiful. So our construction is expanding. And our investment pool will start to expand eventually as well. We're barely negative right now, but that's okay. That looks good. Yeah, I'm reasonably fine with that. Our railway in Outer Manchuria is going to finish up eventually. We can see we only have the one local in... Really? So there's a Belarusian religious revolt. I did not... Did that pop up over here? I didn't even see anything there. So this will fail if any civil war in Russia, civil war is a revolution, and the progress is greater than 75%. This is technically a civil war. Except it's Belarus that's having the civil war. It's not us. Okay, so I think that's the difference here. Right. I'm going to mobilize the... Honestly, the National Guard here. And we're going to send them on over. And actually... I would like to send them here. But I don't think we can get there, can we? No, we can't. Belarus will have to man that front. Yeah, this should be absolutely fine. So we'll just get that mobilized up. And we're not going to have a problem with the Red Scare... This, we didn't get a notification of this because this is happening in Belarus. This is not happening in our territory. This is happening in our vassals' territory. So that's absolutely fine. China wants to join, join this in exchange for a bankroll. I'm going to decline. We don't need their help, and I don't want to bankroll China. That's not going to be a thing. Thank you very much. So we've got six weeks here until we have our railway in Outer Manchuria done. Now China wants to do it in exchange for an obligation. We really don't need their help. We really, really don't. This is not going to be a problem. So this will all be fine. And we'll continue to press through all of this nonsense. We do have these down here. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of stuff here that eventually we'll need to get dealt with. But we'll get there. So our economy is still in the status of growing, right? We're definitely seeing that in our investment pool going up here. We should consider expanding our construction by an additional... At least two, possibly four. I'm going to go for four in Ingria. And we're still prioritizing this railway. Okay, so something along the lines of that. Now, obviously, we're not going to have any major problems here. This is only at a 12% advantage currently due to their numbers, but 
this is going to be fine. I'm quite certain about that. Especially when we look at their organization here, which is only 24%. This number is continuing to come down as that organization improves. We may need to bring in additional force, but I don't think so, because our allies in Belarus are just going to push through here with no problem. There's no opposition, and they're going to link up with us, and this should be okay. So I'm not even going to shift these guys over to a defensive footing. We're going to keep this on an offensive footing, and I think that'll be fine. So, yep, we're seeing our investment pool be negative at this point. Everybody declared neutrality in this, of course. We're not surprised about that. We'd love for the Nihilist movement to get dealt with, and it is being dealt with. So checking in on this attack here, yeah, we're winning this attack. So this seems fine. I'm not concerned about that. Meanwhile, the Belarusians are pushing through unopposed in the back line. This is completely okay. No issues whatsoever here. We are seeing our investment pool shrinking. That is good. That's what we want. And we'll have absolutely no problem with this. They're going to already be capable of dropping below zero, and so are we, technically, at this point. But there's not a lot that they're going to have happening here. They're in panicked retreat, and our National Guard is easily winning on this front. Yeah, we can see here, advantage swinging to us. Exactly what we expect. So this is looking great. We're going to continue to occupy down over here, and Belarusia will continue to occupy as well. So this all looks good. Yeah, the effect here, I, I was slightly confused here because this was saying annex the religious revolt, but we're the war leader. So I wanted to hover over this. It is going to go to Belarus. That is what I expected it to do. I did not expect us to annex that. So that's all good. We are absolutely crushing this religious revolt and there will be no problem with that. Additional oil has been discovered. That is great and we'll continue to have more. I would like to push Great Britain out of here eventually. I'm not sure what the timing on that is going to end up looking like. We'll have to see. How are we doing on those coal, coal and engine prices? It's still in the category of expensive. Okay. Our motor industries are going to continue to expand here. We're nearly done with our expansion of our motor industry and coal mine. So that looks good. We are seeing some transportation shortages in some new territories here. In Kiva, this needs an expansion. In Rostov, this needs to be switched to wooden passenger carriages and then probably an expansion beyond that. And this needs to be switched to wooden passenger carriages and also an expansion. So we'll get that going. And we may as well finish up these motor industries, something kind of like this. Okay. So here in Kiva, we're at minus 8.2. Okay, more gold depletion in Alaska, which isn't shocking. Does that give us any additional mines, though? It does. And those take highest priority, as usual. So that'll be great. And very, very soon now, we're going to have these guys capitulate. They're down to a capitulation desire of minus 97. That's actually quite high. Okay. Well, they'll get over it eventually, I'm sure. We cannot propose the peace deal, and that's reasonably fine. They'll give up eventually. The question is, do we want to early mobilize, demobilize our National Guard here? I don't think it's that big of a deal. I really, really don't. So it should be fine. We do have access to a lot of oil rigs. Keep that in mind as we progress forward and start to need a lot of oil with higher tech. That'll be great. Steel frame buildings are 17 months away. That is going to still be very, very painful on our economy to go to steel frame buildings. So at this time, I think that I want to stop expanding the construction sectors, even if we are positive in our investment pool, because we won't be once we shift here. We absolutely will not be positive in our, in our pool there. So there's Belarus back hole. Perfect. More oil has been discovered in Samara. Always great. And we do want to get these steel mills down here underway as soon as we can. So we want to work our way through this very swiftly. Hopefully we don't have any additional transportation shortages. We do have one in Uzbekia right now. Let's take a look. Okay, we can expand here. That's reasonably fine. That will be minus 8.2% construction efficiency. 
due to turmoil. Okay. So I'm going to move that down to about the same position as Kiva here. Oh, uh, the Rostov Railway needs to be moved up. Okay, something along the lines of this. It doesn't really matter that much when this happens. We just need to get these done, right? So that'll be reasonably fine. I'm not going to further expand construction since we do know that steel frame buildings are coming in 15 months. And we need to expand our economy in preparation for that, including these steel mills. So we need to work our way through this as quickly as we can. These railway constructions are certainly slowing us down. No doubt about that. But I guess that's okay. Rubber mastication has been unlocked now. We can get rubber plantations. So do we want any rubber plantations? I mean, it's not really the biggest of deals at this moment. I do think we should move these coal mines up and prioritize these right now. But I'm also going to prioritize these railways. And we're just going to intersperse the coal mines. Something like this. There we go. And then we'll get to these motor industries once we get to the motor industries, right? So that'll be the idea there. These railways need to get finished up fairly soon, no doubt about that. But it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to continue to work on our economy a bit. I don't think we're going to be expanding next episode at all. We still have a fair amount of infamy. We need to work on our economy here because we know that steel frame buildings is coming. And when that hits it's going to hurt. So we're absolutely going to need to change some things around here and deal with some prices. Explosives might also be something that we need to deal with. We'll see. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Shadow Wolf, Kentogan, Ali Lee, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman12 UK, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.